Welcome back to Pro City Cation. This is Zat. Today I'm going to be giving an update on the due diligence for Pick PIC with the reverse merger happening with XL Fleet. Now, if you would like to support this channel, make sure to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow. Subscribe and leave notifications on. I split this video into introduction, due diligence, and technical analysis. If you want to skip through the technical analysis, you'll find the link down in the comments. Let's jump right into it. Pick. I've done an update not long time ago. It's actually in the description below. I'll try to cover any new updates as well as update the technical analysis. Just for a basic view, this company has four technologies. Excel Hybrid, Excel Plugin, Excel Link, Excel Grid. This really goes on between making a hybrid system to full-on plugin electrification system or plugin hybrid as well. And Excel Link which tracks fleet and gives you metrics as well. And Excel Grid which is charging stations. Basically, that's to kind of sum it up in layman's term. 25,000 plus metric tons of carbon dioxide reduced with 20,000 plus hours of driver productivity added and 2.5 millions of gallons off saved. Some prominent names, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Yale, Verizon, and the list goes on. Moving on, a lot of people go on to the investor page and they really don't read what's, actual, what's the details of this reverse merger going to be. So I really do recommend that you go on and read through it, even though it's a little bit outdated from September. One of the main things that were mentioned here, they said they were pleased that the Excel fleet will be merged into Pivotal at an implied valuation that represents a significant discount relative to Excel's closest public, publicly, sorry, publicly traded peers. Excel fleet is rapidly expanding its substantial existing customer base today versus its competitors for merely from promising customers revenues years from now. Excel's revenue are expected to be more than triple in 2021, cementing its stat status as a leading provider of vehicle electrification solutions for commercial and municipal fleet vehicles. They really pinpoint something really important. A lot of the other SPACs are, you know, SPACs that don't really deliver onto revenue, unless, at least not in the time being, that happens to be in the future. So what they're really saying here is they're really kind of throwing a little bit of shade into others back saying, hey, we have revenue. We're expecting it to be three times more. This is a discount for what Pick is getting uh, Excel Fleet for. And, you know, you know, get on board. <laughs> That's a good way to sell it. Nonetheless, the fleet itself here, this is uh, this is as well on the part of news and about. So this one is about uh, really a good place to read here is Excel at a glance, so if you want to pause it quickly and read it, I already covered this one. Now the next thing is the news here. When it comes in towards the news, you have a couple of more important ones recently. So on December 8th, this is the meeting that is going to be held on December 21st, and that's where we're going to be uh, voting for the reverse merger officially for all stockholders there on December 7th as of record. The new tickers will be XL and XLWS for uh, the warrants. Now, next thing coming up here is, well, we don't know the exact date of the merger, reverse merger, but on December 21st, we'll know if it's going to happen or not at 9 a.m. So that's a major catalyst coming up. Next thing here is their pilot program with essential utilities to electrify its utility fleet. Now, that is massive for one reason. Of course, Excel, uh, sorry, WTRG, which is essential utilities, is one of the largest publicly traded water, wastewater, and natural gas providers. Now, if you were to look at what vehicles they're actually electrifying, they are indeed the two most commercial, uh, popular commercial GM vehicles platform with the XLH hybrid electric, uh, electric drive system. Now, the two vehicles are the GMC Sierra 25 HD pickup truck and the GMC Savannah Express van. Now, if you're not familiar with them, this is the van, the Express van, the Savannah Express van, and it's one of the most utilized vehicles in that industry. Including even civil engineering, that's the industry I've come from. I've driven a couple of those before and I've literally driven a Sierra as well. The two vehicles we had on the lot, the two versions were literally the Sierra GMC and the GMC Savannah Review. So the electrification of those in cities in the future, especially you know, if Biden rolls out more uh, laws or rules or legislation that kind of puts in more push towards green energy, definitely puts it up when you electrify these vehicles. So that is something to consider. That's the vehicles they're actually electrifying. And they're going to be electrifying approximately 2,500 of these vehicles across 10 states. If the pilot is successful on the first two platforms, Essential plans on electrifying larger percentage of its fleet with XL fleet's hybrid and plug-in hybrid electric drive system beginning in 2021. 
That, in my opinion, is a massive thing, not just because they're electrifying it in there, but in terms of coming into the vehicles, GMC Sierra 2500 and Savannah Express van, showing in to other customers that, hey, you can actually do it. Other competitors have done it and, you know, brings on more people. Now, I would have liked to go on through an updated presentation, but unfortunately, we don't have that at the current time. This presentation, I already covered it in my last video. Now comes into the question into add what do you think is going to happen for the sticker now before then i did have problems on finding different ratios for pic but uh someone mentioned yahoo finance will have them well they actually don't have them because it's a spack and a lot of the different values aren't put in yet nonetheless let's jump right into what i think about this ticker right after the technical analysis so the technical analysis here shows in on a one week perspective a really massive growth on the macd ADX is giving us a warning here saying, hey, be careful. You might actually see a pullback at this level. William percent R is at somewhere around overbought. Ventum is strong still. Now, on a one-day perspective, oh, moving averages are really bullish as well. Now, on a one-day perspective, what we get to see is an MACD that might be pulling back just a little. A red candle today, around 6% down. Moving average band will show that it's still above there. And the trading action zone between the 10 SMA and the 30 EMA it's still green and it hasn't even touched there yet now the bottom has touched in around the 15 39 and bounced right back it's expected that it can drop all the way to 13 26 and still bounce back as long as it's in the trading action zone that's where reversals are likely now still above the 50 sma and the 200 sma really bullish adx is saying hey be careful we might actually get a pullback here because above 50 that's a danger level macd is getting a little bit of pullback but it's still stable Momentum is a little bit sloppy, but still going on strong positive at 426. William percent R is sitting somewhere closer to neutral. Now, the moving average band is expected to trade on the top 1483, 1348 in the middle, and 1213 in the bottom. Now, it really hasn't really followed that moving average band for a while, or at least accurately so. It doesn't really have much merit. Stochastic fast and stochastic slow are both showing different things. Slow is showing hey there might be another push for this the fast is saying hey you might get a pullback so what we can deduce from the stochastic in general is it's saying that it has another leg up but it will receive a pullback sooner or later now the fibonacci retracements helps us with identifying supports and resistances current fibonacci support sits at 1518 14 19 13 20 11 98 and then ten dollars down current resistance is 1659 and 1838 now, doing it a little bit more off the traditional way, let's go on with one month, two hours to try to identify the intraday supports and resistances. The current support line sits at 1601. Below there, we're looking down to 1566. Below there, we're looking at 1498, 1464, 1410, 1342, 1295, 1248, down to 1199, and then 1132, down to 10.95. Significant resistances at this level, 1630. Above there, we're looking at 1667 to 1692, jumping a little bit above to 1717, having a hike up to 1786, and then parking it at 1872, then 1915. Now, Ed, what do you think about the sticker? All right. I did, I did say this a bit before, I do think it's going to start jumping here and there. If you're investing, forget about it and, you know, you might want to leave it on for a couple of years because it does look solid. Now, if you're trading, it's a little bit hard to say, hey, sell, because, hey, if you're coming in from $10, you already made around 60% from this level. And a couple of days ago, you would have made around 90%. But, do I think it's going to still, it has a chance to bounce back. Yes, it does. It has a chance. It's a very strong chance. But... A reversal is highly likely at this level because if you notice at the ADX here, what we get to see is that it's above 50 and that is a dangerous level. Before continuing on, we have a Discord link down below where we discuss this, things like this all day. It's completely free, there's no catch. If you'd like to join it, it's in the description below. Moving back, do I think it's going to see a pullback? Yes, of course, that is a healthy uptrend. We're seeing high highs and high lows and we're expecting to see a low trend. Now, if the pullback drops below, let's say down below um like the 15 dollar mark that's when things get dangerous above the 15 dollar mark it's still healthy in my opinion in terms of investment i still think this is a solid investment it has time whether entering now you need to look when it stabilizes somewhere around this region for instance 
Uh, you see how it's stabilizing a little and start bouncing back. That's where I put the investment in and throw it off for all years. Now, don't go in on once. Don't go out on once. That's my advice. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. You have a wonderful day.